All right, our word of the week this week is going to be uh, semi-automatic. The reason I chose semi-automatic is I was doing some welding procedures and I had a gentleman that was getting certified in MIG welding and the welding processes are one of four things. A manual process, a semi-automatic process, a machine process, or an automatic process. And I got to these uh, and I was checking a box and I said, is MIG welding a manual, semi-automatic, machine, or an automatic process? And he just kind of looked at me and I thought, you need to know what processes are associated with these four terms. A uh, semi-automatic, MIG welding should be like that. MIG welding or gas metal arc welding um, is a semi-automatic process. Manual, and I got the definition right here of each one. Manual, the welder does everything. That is your gas tungsten arc welding, your shielded metal arc welding. You're doing the manipulation, you're doing the travel speed, you're providing the joint guidance, you're doing everything with both uh, TIG and stick. Semi-automatic, everybody thinks of MIG, but there's also flux core arc welding, uh, uses the same equipment, so that's gonna be a semi-automatic process as well. And then uh, down here at machine, this is the one that everybody gets confused with. Um, it's not a machine, it's a machine process. Gas metal arc welding, a MIG can again be set up for machine. Uh, the main one I think is uh, sub arc, sub submerged arc welding. Uh, it's got something that runs on a track, the wire comes out into the joint and fills the joint. You can also do that with MIG and flux core. Uh, there's certain applications that they use that for. It's basically a track cutter. If you can picture a track cutter with a MIG gun on it or a flux core gun running down a track. Uh, there's also ones that spin like this to build up shafts or whatever. But that's a, that's a machine process. Oh, I forgot to do the uh, semi-automatic definition is welder provides the joint travel and the joint guidance in the machine where we're at right now. The welder provides just the joint guidance. Last but not least, automatic. The welder does nothing. And by the welder, that means the human being. The welder does nothing. This is a uh, fully automatic, uh, different processes that use this. Gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding are primarily, I suppose you could hook, hook up a flux core. I'm not really sure if they do that frequently or not, but um, MIG and TIG are, are commonly used for automatic. So if you didn't know what semi-automatic is, we kind of went over these other ones as well. That's one of those words you need to know. So um, if, if somebody asks you what MIG, it, MIG welding is, um, as far as these four terms go, and you say manual or automatic, well, I guess MIG could be automatic, but for the, if you're actually doing it yourself, it's going to be semi-automatic, and you need to know that. So that's why we, uh, I wanted to stress this, uh, this word, uh, semi-automatic, for this week. And until next week, uh, have a good one, and thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. Before we let you go here, I just wanted to show you a uh, section out of a procedure we did for a company that was doing TIG. You can see GTAW there. And then down here, you can see they want to know manual, machine, semi-automatic, or automatic. So that's on actual welding procedures. So that's all we got for today. We'll let you go.